Personal Opinions versus Guided Wisdom. When we are born again, have believed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and repented of our sins, the Holy Spirit helps us to be able to both discern and evaluate the things that people say, and whether they are just merely opinions, or they are guided wisdom in which we should follow. And many times when people simply voice their opinions, they do so from a spirit that is not humble, uh, it is not one that has gone before the Lord, and it usually is done in such a way where they want the other person to change while they themselves are not willing to change, or they are unwilling to hear the differentiation of the viewpoint from the person they're attempting to critique. When it is guided wisdom, however, by someone, we know that it is guided wisdom because it comes from a place of humility. It comes from a heart that says, listen, I don't, I don't want to have this conversation, um, but there are just a few things that I'd like to point out. Or maybe they say, hey, have you, have you considered doing something this way as opposed to this way? The difference between personal opinions and guided wisdom is that the guided wisdom is done with a humble, gentle spirit. It's done in love. There's scriptural backup behind what they're saying. We know that this person is walking with the Lord. But a personal opinion usually comes from a spirit that is impatient, that is restless, uh, that is led by emotion, uh, that is more worried about one's own appearance and the association of what that person might bring about with them, or they might consider uh, that this person is just someone that needs to do all the changing and while they themselves neglect to look at their lives and what they need to change. Because the humble man is always going to guide uh, by wisdom, but that wisdom is going to be wisdom that is not only led by God, but it's also wisdom that they are able to uh, speak on because either they themselves have gone through that or they truly have the best interest for us and they make that known by the approach in which they give. And so may we just ask that God would truly lead us by his Holy Spirit and give us the fruits of the Spirit love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those who merely voice their personal opinions, they are those who uh, either consciously or subconsciously exalt themselves above others while pointing the finger and desiring other people to change. And at the root of that, they are narcissistic in behavior. It is all about them. There's an unwillingness to change themselves. There is this uh, feeling of power, so to speak, that is infringed upon other people. And then there's also a desire to inflate and twist things to fit their own narrative at all times. Whereas wisdom is willing to not only critique, but also to listen. Wisdom doesn't command one to change, but wisdom is given, and the other person can choose to accept that or not. And when it's done in a gentle spirit as well, it's much more, uh, someone is much more prone to listen to that and then change if there is sound wisdom behind the words that are being said. Uh, because we know that guided wisdom comes from a place where a person genuinely cares about us and wants to see the best for us. They aren't necessarily concerned about themselves, but they're wanting us to be all that we can be in Christ. Not of this world. Uh, those who are constantly wanting to make people look good or make themselves look good with the things they have, with the people they associate, it's all empty. But those who desire to say, hey, look, I see what God can do through you. I can see these gifts that he has given you. And there might be just a few things here and there that you can change and think about. But I know that God is already leading in your life. And I believe that uh, he wants me to share this in order to help better your walk with him and also your ministry for him. And this is always going to be coming from a place of love not a place of tension. Personal opinions always come from a place of tension, of critique. It comes from a critical spirit. But guided wisdom comes from those who are humble, uh, who are loving, who are gentle, who are walking with the Lord, not only just saved, 
but walking with God on a day-by-day basis because it's very feasible that someone can be saved, but they are too much of the world, and we are commanded to be in the world, not of the world. So may we listen to those who truly have the best interest for us, who we know love us and we love them. Uh, May we not be led by personal opinions that are always constantly coming and going. There's leaves in the wind. But may we listen to those, uh, when we listen to God first and foremost by his word, but then may we consider wisdom that comes from all people. We can always gain insight no matter who we're talking to. Even the most wicked, vile person, we can gain insight. And we can be revealed and shown what not to do. But guided wisdom comes from a place that loves the other person, wants what's best for them, and wants to see God's full manifestation through that person's life.